So you've hit your due date or maybe even passed it and there's still no sign of baby. You might be wondering, why am I still pregnant? Is there something wrong? First, let me tell you, you are not alone. So many women go past their due date and it's actually quite common. In today's video, we're diving into why some babies decide to stay cozy a little longer and what that means for you. I'm here to explain some of the most common reasons why you might be overdue from baby's position to genetics and even factors like stress or your body's unique rhythm. So if you're feeling anxious, stick around. I'll break down all the reasons behind these extra days or even weeks. And by the end of this video, I hope you'll feel reassured and more in tune with what your body is doing. Let's start with your baby's position. Sometimes if the baby isn't positioned in a way that allows their head to press down on the cervix, labor can be delayed. For instance, if they're facing your belly button rather than your back, or if your baby is in a breech position, it can slow things down. Baby positioning can make a big difference when it comes to getting labor started. Next, let's talk about hormones. Your body produces certain hormones to kickstart labor, like prostaglandins and oxytocin. Some women naturally have slightly lower level of these, which can delay the onset of labor. Remember, this doesn't mean anything is wrong. It's just your body's unique chemistry doing its thing. Another interesting factor is genetics. Sometimes the length of your pregnancy can actually run in the family. If your mum or your grandma went overdue, you might too. This could be part of your family's natural pattern, so it's something to keep in mind. Another big one is that this might be your first pregnancy. For a lot of women, that first pregnancy can take a little longer as your body adjusts to all the new changes. So if you're a first time mum, this is super common and completely normal. And let's not forget that due dates aren't always perfect. They're usually calculated based on the first day of your last period. But if you have an irregular cycle, this date might be off by a few days or even a week. So while it might feel like you're overdue, your baby could just be arriving right on time. Stress or anxiety can also play a role. When we're stressed, our bodies release stress hormones like adrenaline, which can counteract oxytocin, which is the hormone that helps get labor started. So if you're feeling tense or worried, try to take a few deep breaths or do something that helps you relax. Your body knows what to do when it's ready and staying calm can really, really help. Your age can be another factor. For example, older mothers tend to have slightly longer pregnancies on average. It's nothing to be concerned about, it's just another factor that can impact your body's timing. Placental health is another reason. Some placentas stay in top condition for longer, which means they're able to keep supporting your baby even past your due date. If your doctor or midwife says your placenta is looking good, there's often no rush to induce labor. Your cervix's readiness is key too. For labor to start, the cervix needs to be nice and soft and start opening. Sometimes this can just take a little longer to happen, especially if it's your first baby. This is perfectly normal and your body will give you signs when it's ready. And lastly, did you know that culture and environment can also influence when labor starts? Some studies suggest that factors like the season or cultural practices might have a small impact on labor timing. It's pretty amazing how many things can subtly influence this process. So to all of you mums out there who are feeling like you've been pregnant forever, I hope this helps you feel a little more at ease. Going overdue doesn't mean anything's wrong, it's often just your baby and your body following their own natural timing. If you're feeling worried, always talk to your healthcare provider. They can check that everything's going smoothly and help you decide what's best. Trust that your body knows what it's doing and remember, your baby will be here before you know it. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pregnancy and parenting tips. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.